Go and glide. Okay. Nope. You're not coiled up. You're you're starting. You're too static, right? You're straight. Then you try to coil. It's too long. You have to load and coil together. Set it up. Get it over. Then it's load and coil, right? You understand that? Okay, stand right there. Okay. It's here. Pillar one. I'm over, right? I'm here. I can either keep the heel high or I can keep the heel low. See how my arm's dangling? Me out. See how I'm set. Now I load and coil, so if I want to come up from that point, I'm up on the toe, and I can shoot down into that position. But you see, if I do what you just did, and I'm here, and I get over like this, right, straight, see how immediately I pick my leg up, I'm falling? You don't want to be falling. You want to be able to pick your leg up and pull yourself over this way. You're straight, so just by doing that, I'm automatically falling. Right? I didn't try to fall. So now you're trying to move. And so when you go in to pull in, you're already coming off of this. So you have less push across the ring. This is going to pull slow. You're going to be too far forward. You're never going to get your right hip through. Over. Right? You feel yourself load and coil. So you feel yourself pull up onto that toe. That's where you're going to get this. Everything's here. You can get that in front. Closer. You're still pushing this back. You're not getting over. You're not you don't have pillar one. So your chain reaction is up. You're not getting out over here. As soon as you bend, the hand the leg reaches, right? This flexes. So if I wanna if I want to keep it low, I do this. I reach. So it still keeps me over. Now I'm gonna coil and I'm gonna be able to push.